hi friends welcome back to my channel today i'm back with another tutorial and this is my most popular pattern on my blog so i decided to make this um, super cute boho mug rug tutorial for you guys today i hope you enjoy and for this tutorial i'm using this premier home cotton yarn um, it is a uh, polyester and cotton blend and it is a size four so if you guys want to substitute with any cotton yarn that would be fine and i'm also using a g hook all right guys so let's get started with our mug rug and we are going to start by making our slip knot And once we have our slip knot ready, we are going to be making 20 chains. All right, so now uh, we are going to make a uh, half double crochet on our second chain from the hook. And in um, every stitch across, we are going to be making one half double crochet. So by the end of this uh, row, you should have a total of 19 half double crochets. Okay, so continue to do that and I will see you at the end of this row. Okay, so here are my 19 half double crochets already made and I'm going to be starting on my second row. And for our second row, we are just going to chain four And we are going to turn our work. Okay, so once our uh, work is turned, we are going to make one double crochet on our third chain um, from, not chain, third stitch from the hook. Okay, and that's going to count as our first um, double crochet in chain one this space right here and uh, now we're going to chain one skip a stitch and double crochet on the next okay guys so i decided to change up the camera angle so you guys could see the stitches a little better so on our second row we are basically going to be repeating the same um instructions we are going to after this double crochet we are going to chain one skip a stitch double crochet in the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet in the next until you reach the end of the row Okay, so here I'm at the end of my row and I'm just going to chain one and make my last half, half double crochet. I mean, not half, my last double crochet on that stitch here. Okay, so here's how it should be looking. And now for our third row, we are going to chain one turn our work and we are going to be making one half double crochet 
and every stitch across. So we make one in that first stitch here. And we are also going to be making one in our chain one, chain one space. Okay, so don't forget those chain one spaces. Okay guys, so I'm at the end of my row here and you don't forget to make a half double crochet on this um, chain one space here and also on this top of the third chain that we made on our previous row, you make another half double crochet. Um, if you forget to make those stitches there you won't have the right amount of stitches for your next um, row so just remember that the chain four from our previous row counted as a stitch and a chain one and for our fourth row we are going to chain one turn our work make one half double crochet all the way across our row Okay guys, so here I have my four rows completed and uh, from now on you're going to be repeating the same pattern all over again. So just repeat rows two um, to four two more times. Okay, so we are going to repeat row two, three and four and then when you're done with that you're going to um, repeat that one more time okay so um, I will see you at the end of the, the those last two repeats and you should um, have a total of um, 10 rows completed and I will see you back to finish rows 11 and rows 12 okay guys so we're almost done we only need to make our last um, two rows so let's start with row 11 we are going to chain four and we are going to repeat the same as row two which is um, make a double crochet on our third chain chain one skip one stitch make one double crochet on the next okay so repeat that all the way across and i'll see you back um, for row 12. okay friends so here um i'm done with my 11th row and for our last row um the only thing we're going to be doing is chaining one turning and we are going to make um, one half double crochet all the way across my god this yarn is has been giving me trouble all um, day here it's so splitty okay so one half double crochet so basically you're gonna be repeating um, row three i believe yeah row three for this last row okay 
just make one half double crochet all the way across don't forget to um, make one inside this um, chain one remember this comes as a chain one and then your last half double crochet goes on this top of chain three so one two three right here right I'll see you back and I'll show you how to add the fringe okay so we are just going to tie off um, cut our yarn and you can leave this um, strand as part of the fringe or if you want to weave in the end but I just left it there because I'm gonna add fringe and it's gonna be um, it's gonna look like it's part of the fringe okay okay so what you can do for the fringe is if you have a tassel maker um, you can use that to cut the strands but I'm not um, using that I'm gonna use my hands so I'm just gonna wrap the yarn around my hand um, as many times as I can so I can have um, a lot of strands at once and I'm just gonna grab my scissors and cut that bottom part and then that um, strand on the top so here I have a bunch of them made already and I'm just going to grab two of them and fold them in half and I'm going to be placing them on the side of my mug rug with the help of my hook so what I do is I insert my hook and grab this loop here made and then I just pull it through and then I grab this loop here and then I make a knot with the other strands and I just pull to make a knot and that's what's going to make our fringe. Okay, so um, right now they're looking long, but we're going to trim them after we're done placing all of our um, fringe. So we're going to repeat the same. We grab our two strands, fold them in half, um, and I like to skip one stitch and then place the next on the other stitch. Okay, so I grab that loop with my hook and they just tie a knot with the um, strands and pull okay so we're gonna repeat that all the way across skipping one stitch and at the end I had 10 sets Okay, so here's one side completed, and now I'm just going to grab my scissors, um, cut the fringe um, as long as I want. So just however you want or feel like it's good for you, just cut it and try to make it straight. Okay, so um, yeah, you guys just repeat the same for the second side of your mug rug, and trim your fringe and you should be um, all done with this uh, boho mug rug and here's the finished work you guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and yeah i'll see you on my next tutorial Bye bye